hi everyone and welcome to your channel in this video i am going to show you an advanced asynchronous web crawling and data extraction library called as crawl for ai crawl for ai is an open source python library designed to simplify web crawling and extract useful information from web pages we are going to install this library in our free Google Colab and then we will see how it works with OpenAI's LLMs. There are a lot of cool features which are quite um, attractive with this crawl for AI. For example, it is completely free and open source. It is quite fast too. It outperforms a lot of other tools which I already have covered on the channel. It is quite LLM friendly. It supports JSON, Markdown, HTML. It also supports crawling multiple URLs simultaneously. It extracts and returns all media tags, whether it, whether it is images, audio and video. Also, it deals very nicely with external and internal links. Plus, it also extracts metadata from the page and it also deals with custom hooks. There are a lot of other features of with this tool which I will describe later down the road but for now let me take you to my free google colab and if you want to follow along feel free to launch your google colab uh, notebook where we are going to install this before i do that i also want to share with you the sponsors of this video which are agent ql this is another one of my favorite uh, tool for data extraction and uh, web automation and scraping if you're looking for an enterprise kit without any pain, really, uh, I would say grounded tool for data extraction, have a look at AgentQL. I think you're going to like it. So this video, as I said, is sponsored by AgentQL.com, which is an AI powered query language for getting structured data from live web pages. And there are a lot of good things happening with this AgentQL too. It is a query language tool that turns any web page into a data source with its python sdk and live debugging tool you can scrape and interact with web content agent ql works on any page public or private any site any url even behind authentication it is quite resilient it um, page structure changes but agent ql still returns the same result it is quite re uh, reusable the same query works across multiple similar pages Plus, it structures output according to the shape of your query. So, pretty impressive. I will, uh, you will can also find the description in about this agent QL in the video's description. Okay, coming back to the topic of this video, which is crawl for AI. Let's go to this Google Colab, and first step, let's try to install some of the prerequisites before we install this crawl for AI. Let's wait for it to get installed. This is going to take a minute or so. All the prerequisites are done in the next step let's install crawl for ai we are also installing playwright because that is a very popular library for web testing and scripting let's wait for it to get installed it's quite lightweight it shouldn't take too long and while installing you might get this pop-up just click on restart session and that should restart it and installation is done for all these prerequisites as you can see here we already have restarted the session next up let's import these libraries which we have just installed plus for if you are using it in the notebook environment you would need to enable this async and the good thing about crawl for ai is that not only it works with async but also with sync now you can in order to show you a very simple example for crawling the web page if you see here if you run this one this is just running asynchronously and it is crawling this web page nbcnews.com the business page of it so just take a bit of a time not much but you can see all the extraction done for it and you can just simply uh, it is just printing the length of the result here for you how good is that and this is the result here and also, there are a lot of other things which you can do. For example, you can go with something like uh, JavaScript or you can execute cascading style sheet here. So, for example, if you go with something like. And for that, you can sorry, not this one. You can simply go with this JavaScript and cascading style sheet. 
this is just an example which you can use in your code as you can see here i'm just going to go with um, this constant loading again this website and all you need to do is to run it and you can see that now again this is in action with javascript and this cascading style sheet selector there you go and how quick that is and again it has given you this response amazing stuff the real beauty of this tool comes uh, shine, uh, shining through is when you are using it with LLM like from OpenAI. And it, as you know that OpenAI is a paid tool, so you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your API key from there. Once you have your API key, you can save it here. It's secrets like I have done here. OpenAI API key. One, and if you don't know how to do that, simply just click on add new secret just type open ai underscore api underscore key here and then its value and then toggle it on so i'm just i already have it so i'm just going to toggle this one on that's it so now we can use it in our code let me show you the code to use the llm from open ai and you can reuse this code so you see i am just getting this user data this is from my secret or environment which i just showed we are setting it in the environment and then this is a class uh, as a base model i'm setting it up you can just change it as per on your requirement so primarily what we are doing here is we are going to this page of openai for pricing you can use any other website and then we are telling it okay model name input output and then we are printing the response this is the provider we are using this is a key which we need to put in and then it is using the pydentic schema and then giving us the result back so let me run it and you can see that uh, here that how quick that is it has given us a response now the real beauty is that the crawl page is very um, very fast that is something which i really admire about this uh, tool and same is with agent ql by the way they are equally fast but if you're looking for a production grade one i think agent ql is much better anyway so that's it i hope that you enjoyed it um, and really good to see that with the power of llm these tools are progressing quite well and the tasks which one which were quite once quite cumbersome have become quite easier and not only this if you are behind proxy you can even use this tool behind proxy it also as i mentioned does session management for complex multi-page crawling and sky is the limit here uh, if you have done crawling you know that these tools like these really make life quite simpler and this works with or without llms so that's it if you enjoyed the video please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching